I want to play a clip. Uh, Mike Pence, the vice presidential running mate, just moments ago blasted Hillary Clinton for the transcripts that WikiLeaks has now released of her Wall Street speeches for which she earned hundreds of thousands of dollars. Listen to this. Here's another excerpt speaking to a Brazilian bank. Did you hear this? Speaking to a Brazilian bank, this is an excerpt from her speech. She said, quote, her dream was, quote, a hemisphere common market with open trade and open borders. All right, so she's getting a lot of grief for that. Uh, I, I assume you've read those transcripts. Uh, what was your take? You know, I haven't read the transcripts. I've seen the excerpts that have been published. Uh, I don't know what to make of that, frankly, uh, except uh, that uh, this is Mike Pence trying to distract from all the problems his run mate has. Uh, and I know Mike very well. Uh, we came into Congress together, and I have to say it's, it's sad to see him continue to embrace Donald Trump even after this past week. Uh, I think it can't help but injure his reputation, but he's being a dutiful soldier here, and the best I think the Trump campaign can do uh, is point at these transcripts and say, look, not here. Those transcripts also have her saying, look, it's one thing you have to have a public position, but you have to have a private position as well, which could be different, uh, and that seemed to suggest, uh, according to her critics, that she was being two-faced. Uh, you know, that's the criticism they leveled, but again, not really seeing uh, what was involved in that conversation, it's hard to tell. During the debate last night, she talked about that in the context of Lincoln and how Lincoln would have different audiences that when he was trying to make his point and persuade them. Uh, this is frankly not so much a, what you say, inside and outside, but knowing that, okay, this economic argument will move people who respond to the economy. This argument on the moral high ground will move other people uh, that's the kind of approach that legislative leadership uses quite often. On the